From the creepiest secret area in SpongeBob to a hilarious message left by the devs, these are 20 hidden rooms in video games. Call of Duty has tons of Easter eggs and the most loved has to be these teddy bears. But in Modern Warfare, there's one secretly hiding that you won't believe actually exists. After finding a bunch of numbers around the trench map, you can unlock this vault door revealing a Cold War bunker run by Soviet bears. There's old tech and battle plans, but the room doesn't stop there because you can find another code by answering the phone. Entering this into the next keypad will cause the phone to ring, and once you answer, the vault opens, unleashing the war bear. And there's a secret room in Battlefield Hardline that was only discovered when people found this restaurant at the sea market. Simply head out through the back until you reach a green button under the counter, which will open a secret bookshelf behind you. Once inside, you might notice it's a replica of the 1984 Gremlins movie. It has the ornaments, the same chessboard, and you can even find the box containing Gizmo. A hidden prize that's a little less cursed is in Red Dead Redemption 2 in a small cave near Donner Falls. There's a tiny opening in the mountain leading to a room filled with ominous statues and a puzzle. To find the code, you have to track down a painting at Window Rock, which tells you to look at the hands of the statues showing you 2, 3, 5, and 7. Once successfully entered, the Harpy statue reveals three gold bars worth around 1500 bucks, which is actually quite a bit in the Red Dead universe. And that's not even the only hidden cave because Star Wars Jedi Survivor just released, but players already found a ridiculous area. There's a gap in these rocks that you can fit through, but then it literally takes five painful minutes to squeeze to the other end. Eventually, you break free and find yourself in a cave with droids doing some pretty questionable art. And you'll have to cram yourself into another tight space for Dread X2's hidden room inside of the Diving Bell expansion. In one unassuming vent, you can keep walking into the wall and eventually you'll phase right through. Thankfully, this one doesn't take too long and you'll be in a secret room with a dancing diver asking, how are you even here? And you'll probably need that diving gear if you're gonna head into Bikini Bottom's secret developer room. By entering this code in Battle for Bikini Bottom, you'll get teleported into a dark area that has a giant door with Squidward's face and strange antlers. Definitely a little weird for a SpongeBob game. But even that is nothing compared to Shadow Warrior 2's secret Easter egg to one of the most popular shows of all time. In Zilla City, you can head through some holographic plants and you'll find a dark passage with particles in the air and signs warning about toxic chemicals. By now, you've probably realized this whole area is a reference to Stranger Things, but if you're not sold, keep following the hallway to the lab. This is almost an identical replica to the one from the show, and it even has the gateway to the upside down on the wall. Sure, there's no room Ward, unlike a room in Mortal Kombat 11 that only extremely dedicated players unlock. At the top of the map, people noticed a mysterious area with doors that couldn't be opened. Eventually, players managed to get inside and realized it was Shang Tsung's throne room. The place was absolutely loaded with loot, but was nearly impossible to open, and here's why. You had to place 10 severed heads on spikes in the crypt, which doesn't sound too bad, but to unlock just one head, you had to execute 50 fatalities on a single character. This meant you had to complete a total of 500 of them, and even if you managed to do that, once inside, you'd find more locked doors required requiring even more heads. Bruh. And after all that work, you might want some rest, and one of the best beds in all of gaming is found in the Talus Principle. You'll need to take out a bunch of force fields before heading up the secret passage that leads outside the temple. Hidden behind the statues, you'll find a hole that you can drop into with a single bed and the option to use it. This instantly transports you into a dream state where you can watch some electric sheep in the wild. Still nowhere near as surprising as a secret room in Choo Choo Charles with a message for hackers. When you're not running from the giant spider train, you'll probably be exploring the various cabins on the island to escape. While most of them are locked or empty, there's one building that's hiding a secret inside. By entering free cam and phasing through the wall, you'll find a room on the other side covered in blood. If you're not freaked out already, pick up the note and you'll find the message, you're not supposed to be here. It's signed by GVN, which is pretty mysterious, but this is actually Gavin, the creator of the game, and you'll have to explore the entirety of FNAF Security Breach to unlock this secret room in the daycare. By snapping a photo of each cardboard cutout from the pirate movie poster, you'll be able to return to it and open the door. The hall leads you to a daycare room that seems normal, but look for the small tunnel and follow it to the secret arcade cabinet. Here you can find the Balloon World minigame, which has some pretty eerie secrets of its own. 
Now, thankfully, it's the opposite in Dying Light 2, where you can be in a pretty horrifying world and then suddenly find yourself in Mario. On this roof in Old Town, you can find a familiar green pipe, which not only works, but actually transports you to a remake of World 1-1. There's makeshift Goombas, Lucky Blocks, and even finishes with the iconic flagpole slide. At the end, you'll also get a blueprint for the Paisa suit, which is, of course, a reference to the Tanuki suit from Mario. And probably the most colorful area in all of Doom 2016 can be found in the Titans realm. By using a yellow jump pad, you can climb into a small hole in the wall to access a hidden room. Inside is a party skeleton, birthday cake, and balloon, but if you pop it, you'll hear this. What's even better is if you discovered this secret on September 30th or December 10th, you'd actually be booed for ruining Doom's anniversary. And just when you think the missions in Hitman 2 couldn't get any more complex, there's an entire secret treasure temple as an Easter egg. By collecting a golden idol and shaman costume, you can enter this cavern and use the idol to open a passage. The room is full of traps straight out of Indiana Jones, and getting there alive will reward you with a knife. Really? Yeah, that's pretty much it for all that work, but at least you get some confetti on the way out. And if you're wondering why these temples are empty, it's probably because everyone is in Dread X performing a dance ritual. Inside of the fruit level, you can collect a barrel and use it to create a step to get over this wall. Once on the other side, you'll spot a glowing light in the distance of a strange ceremony and people dancing around a flaming green skull. And my favorite part is this dude break dancing. And if you like that kind of Easter egg, then you'll probably love American Truck Simulator's Secret Stadium. If you use a free cam to get inside, you'll find an NPC in the middle of the field with the words, why not, written in the grass. He's just sitting there dancing, and all I could really think is, why not? And while exploring Liberty City in GTA 4, you'd never expect a secret to be hiding in the Statue of Liberty. By landing on top of the building, you can access a door that says no hidden content this way, and obviously, anyone would keep going after reading this. Inside, there's a lot that takes you to the heart of the city, and I mean that literally. And that's not the only game to show some heart, because Borderlands 3 has a wholesome tribute to the entire dev team. By crossing a bridge in the wastelands, players find a teleporter that takes you straight to a huge bedroom. There's a bunch of boxes and posters, but the best part is this giant photo of the old crew who worked on the game in 2020. Now, obviously, back then we were all on lockdown, so the devs would be working from home in a room just like this one. There's even signs on the wall taking shots at the whole thing. But if you don't want to be stuck in a room all day, Watch Dogs Legions will have you running all over the map to find QR codes. Scanning them will give you coordinates to the next location, and after collecting all six, you're given instructions to go to the sewer at 2 a.m. Once the clock hits two, you'll be able to interact with the door, opening up a secret nightclub inside. This place has neon lights, a DJ booth, and even a collectible default mask of the villain from the first game. But the devs of Halo Reach decided to embrace the community when creating a secret room that was a tribute to the fans. After completing the package mission on legendary difficulty with a friend, you can find a switch at the back of the level to open a locked door. You'll have to fight some more enemies to get through, but once inside, you'll be teleported to a giant hallway. Follow this along to the room, and you'll see tons of messages from Bungie to the community, which is so wholesome. And that's been 20 Secret Rooms in Video Games. It's been Sammy. Keep it here on T5G.